はい No, I'm just kidding. Nothing's gonna happen. All right, let's hop right into the gameplay. My name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. Oh, creepy. Really creepy. Holy shit, chat. That's really scary. This happened to me when I was 18. Oh no. But I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life for a little background. My dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me 100 macaroonies just to watch the house and do some basic tours. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I'm in. I accepted the offer. Of course you did. It's a good one. As I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. So you get paid and you get your schoolwork done? Two birds with one stone, my friend. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Oh god. Uh, oh god, employees only. Well, uh, can I get a job application, please? No smoking? I'll fucking smoke this whole building. Why is it so aggressive, huh? What is this? Ah. Uh, purple palm tree delight. Why am I so fucking fast, yo? Yo, this song kinda goes hard. Please don't stab me or shoot me as I run by. Bleach. What? Where did you put it? Where's bleach? I need bleach. I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah. Noah, wake up. Oh, so it's all a dream. The classic trope that makes me want to smash my monitor into tiny itsy bitsy pieces just like the spider still think you can do this how long did i doze off for doesn't matter can you do this now i got it i got it i got it roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock why not just put them under a real one huh fake rock spiders they're gonna spin their little webs up in there and lay their egg sacs right under over the key and then like what are you gonna fucking do then huh he said it's in the backyard, and like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for any one. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. You're not in it for the money? I'd be in it for the snacks and the money. Where the hell is the rock? Dwayne, Dwayne, are you here? Big rock? Take a piss right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, ugh. Rub one out real quick while we're pissing, you know. You guys remember what um what Jordan Belfort's coworker said, right? Pop off to the bathroom, work one out anytime you can, and when you get really good at it, you'll fucking be stroking it and you'll be thinking about money. That's why you always just do it real quick while you're pissing. Anyway, a text message. The school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. W Riz. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. R F R O F L R O F L. What what does that mean? The Grudge next weekend. Wink wink. A hundred percent. Wink wink. The movie? You wanna? You're you're taking your girl on a date to watch The Grudge? Oh no, honey, I'm scared. It's okay, babe. Come here. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. R F. What the fuck does that mean? What does R O F L mean? The basement was a little too dark. So all I hear is bitching and whining. Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. He was... I'm not gonna say that. Wait a minute, can I watch this? Guy to being a better person. <laughs> talk and talk, directed by Alec Carson. Bro, no way this is what he posts on his YouTube channel. 
if I ever feel bad about the content I'm posting on the Suki Tile channel, I'm going to remember what this guy is posting. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. The, bro, what? Step one, don't be rude. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Uh, being rude will discourage people from talking to you. Okay. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. You can't edit it out? In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Uh, Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? He said hello! How the fuck is that controversial? The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. Oh man, that's all we have for today. Guide to being a better person. Why is there so many people? These nuts? Ligma Productions? Antivirus 96? Sign me up! Definitely not... <laughs> Multi-layer threat defense? More like multi-layer threat. And <laughs> download now? <laughs> okay, I'll download the virus. I just want to see what happens, honestly. Welcome to Antivirus 96. Oh my god, this reminds me of, um... McAfee. <laughs> Rainbow OS. Security threat. Shroj Oscar. Ah. Risk high. Infected location. Rainbow system. Rainbow OS system 55. Result threats not removed. Remove the threat. All threats removed. You're protected. Oh, how lovely. Can I download it again? No, I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. <gasps> His kid was watching porn. He watching porn. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey. Bro. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking cat food. Give me cat food. It's my favorite dish. It's super enjoyable and delicious. It's my favorite dish. This reminds me of the Wojak animations. That's crazy. Okay, now, while that's cooking, Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. I kind of want to see how this ends, though. Cat chat will be right back after this short break. Hello, I'm the hand merchant. Buy some hands. Don't have hands? I'll give you hands. Got too many. You'll give me a handy? I got the best hands. Only the highest quality hands for you. Got too many fingers. I'll take them. Not enough fingers. I'll give you more fingers. People love hands. They're great. I got so much hands. Amazing hands. I'll sell you good quality hands. Come on down today to buy some hands. I have nice hands. Hello. I'm sorry, Eve. I think I gotta run. This dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. No, but you're missing the best part. Dude, you're getting paid. Yo. You're getting paid to chill at home. House sit. You're getting paid to house sit, watch TV, and get groceries with money that's not even your own, so it's literally free for you. So, like, why are you complaining? Because, dude, I work at McDonald's, and that shit is tough. Like, you gotta be standing up the whole time. You gotta fucking lock in. You gotta make a ton of food. You gotta deal with customers. You're getting paid to sit and relax and maybe go run an errand. Like, it's not difficult work. Stop being a bitch. Okay. So we need to wrench and start- Can you shut the fuck up? Speak of the devil. Turner and Andy. Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My- 
Who are you talking about? What was her name? Her or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he popped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but she, dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Or she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. <laughs> Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Goth milf energy. Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Nothing. Oh yeah, I'm house sitting. I mean, Alex, he goes to school with my sister. Heard kids are real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Whatever fills my pocket I'm in for. Alright, dude, see you at school on Monday then. See you around, Anna. Alright, get your bitch ass out the way. Can you uh, please uh, shut up? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Cox. Nux, you have a good one. Alright. Like I said, I had to get on my schoolwork for Monday. Is it gonna rain? Cap! Cap! What type of nerd has homework? What a loser. Alright, so we checked all the cams. So... Oh no, it's FNAF? Lock in on the schoolwork. I really just had to pee first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just piss in the chair. I don't give a fuck. Where's the- where's the front- who is that? Is that my friend or no? Wait, isn't that what- Uh, wait, why does he have a bag? Is he gonna kidnap me? The mailman? That motherfucker gonna kidnap me! That motherfucker's gonna kidnap me! Grab a gun? I wish I had one. See, America, I sh it's America. I should have a gun. Your delivery for your one medium size pe from Pizza Depot, sir. Fuck! Fuck! No! I screwed up! I'm cooked! I'm cooked! <laughs> my heart just- I- I actually felt- My heart actually hurt when that happened. I actually almost had a heart attack from the fucking game. Holy shit. Here. I'll fucking eat the whole thing. Bro, Pizza Man just jump scared us. Yeah, cause I expected to just look around and he was gonna be nowhere to be found. This is probably a pretty strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? Probably not pretty safe out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. I'm not sure my dad would like that he's upstairs. That's the best answer. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. That is the best answer he could have ever given, dude. Because you make them know you're not home alone. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. I just love eating an entire pepperoni pizza while watching spooks hope everything's okay mm. good night noah jack we got for some pizzas this should arrive any minute now enjoy you doing your work? you'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't if Ooh, you this is getting good two squared, think about so this is so this is getting good my then. name is jack Barnett. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. What the fuck? It makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Is he Asian? Oh wait, I heard a doorbell. I'm gonna check cams. Wait a minute! Who's that? Rose- I bet it's my ex-girlfriend. I bet it's my crazy ex-girlfriend. It's, it's Skibbity Toilet. Who is it? Yeah, cause there's no one there. Dude, this guy's the best. He- Not only is he paying me a hundred smackaroonies to house sit for him- By the way, let me- let me explain how easy of a job it is to house sit, right? He bought me pizza. He wanted me to get groceries, sure. But, he gave me all the money for it. So, like, I lost nothing. I just got something to do because I probably would have been bored sitting here alone. I get to do my schoolwork, too. And I get a unique experience. And I get pizza. He bought me a pizza. He ordered me a pizza. Like, this is good hospitality. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? <laughs> That's what I imagine this guy sounds like, like Gara when he would fucking almost lose control of the the sand spirit inside of him. Ah, engrossment. <laughs> <laughs>
I have an engrossment meter, chat. I'm very engrossed in my studies. Oh, it's one one thirty six. Did I fall asleep? How do you? I was in the middle of my schoolwork. The power went off. Oh my god. You by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? Bro, it's obviously my ex. It's obviously my crazy ex. And chat, this situation, this is why I don't date. This is why I don't put in effort. Honestly, a hundred bucks ain't worth it. I beg to differ. Anything out of the ordinary? Oh! Did you guys see that in the in the bottom left? I turned the power back on. Good looks, good looks. You could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Why why is that like a thing? Nope. Nope! You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny, I know it's you. There's somebody in the fucking house! And you're concerned about your freaking schoolwork? I know some little rascal is in my house. Okay, time to lock in on the schoolwork. Get engrossed. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. What the fuck? Stop! 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 I heard a fucking knife, dude. Something's something's shattered. Oh, it's the it's the uh, it's the stove. I swear in my life, I just saw something right there. What the hell? What gave me- it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. Dude, why do you still think it's your friend? I had to confront him. I didn't have his contact, so I could only ask Annie. You sent me Turner's contact, asked him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. Oh, fuck, dude. Stop with the music. Dude, we're gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. The only logical thing to think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Or just leave the house. Call the police, maybe? Is that my door wide open? It's just chill. It's just fucking wide open. Yo. Yo. She has a knife! Oh, that's fucking creepy. She's right outside the door of the room I was in. Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. I've always been nothing but nice to you, but you always treated me like shit. I know everything. I know you left me for her, but I love you. What about that? We deserve a second chance. You know, I can turn, turn you into the police for this. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. She's on and she's she's just chilling on the other side of the door. If I can't have you, no one else should. No. One. Hmm? no. <laughs> Fucking heck. I'm not even gonna check. I have an idea. Since it's the same as last time, like there's no point in checking. And we can just go downstairs and turn the oven off. And then I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It was not the same as the last time. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I had a heart attack again. Oh, I see. Okay, we have to, like, activate the scene first. 
Wait, she doesn't- she never goes in there. We- we have to hide in the laundry room. That's what we have to do. turn her back right when I was about to fucking oh I was gonna slip right by her Get out the house! I win? I win! Let's go, I knew it! I, I just got impatient. My dad called the cops, though by the time they arrived, she already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. Oh, over two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had a breakup with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. And she was pissed. I was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, but of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her moment, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Dude, let's go! We got the- we got the good ending! Finally! That took a while. Alright, dude. That game? Holy shit. Well, uh... Alright. I do have money, so I could buy Iron Bark Lookout. So, if you guys want to see me play the next Fierce to Fathom game, Iron Bark Lookout, I will get it if I get five likes on this video. I know I'm asking a lot. I'm asking a huge amount of likes. If I get five likes on this video, I will buy the next Fears of Fathom game and I will play it. Episode four, Iron Bark Lookout. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, of course. And that's it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.